Hello everyone, Sir Mungus here, Zappy here, back again with Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1. We are on Episode 5, and in the last episode, things really kicked off. Uh, Yuji's life was at risk, he got really, like, <laughs> he got a real taste of exactly how dangerous, uh, at least special grade curses uh, can be. Um, you know, Yuji isn't able to really control his cursed energy. We saw him, like, get a bit in his fist. Um, but, I mean, that was, like, it was nothing to this this uh, this curse. Um, so, really, he needed Sukuna to help. Um, of course, you know, you had Fushiguro uh, go get uh, Nobara, get her out, and then signal that, uh, that it was fine to let Sukuna out and deal with the other curse. Sukuna did try to just team up with his other curse, the other curse wasn't having it. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, Sukuna, I've referred to him last episode as being like special, special grade. He should be because, I mean, even against this other special grade curse, it was absolutely nothing. I mean, I know like at this point, they got they have, what, th like three fingers, I think? I, th I, think I think he's only had two, like he's eaten two. Right, and I, I don't know, I mean, I guess the fact that this special grade curse did actually have a finger makes me think that, like, you know, each finger is, is like, worth a, a special grade curse, right? So, if, you know, if currently he has two, then he's double the strength. <laughs> I'm guessing that's kind of the, the, uh, the, the, the idea behind it anyway like if that's the way to figure out like a power level then that is you know that that is it's got to be the case right um so yeah he had no trouble dispatching this 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 curse um and uh, and but now this is where it's it's going to get interesting because during this mission we were told that one of the you know one of the students dies um so that's not great uh, <laughs> because I mean, Nobara is away. She's safe, right? Fushiguro, I, I don't know. I worry for him because he's the one that's like, you know, he's the one that stayed behind and whatnot. And I mean, it's not going to be Yuji, is it? So I, I don't know. I'm really, really worried for him. And uh, I, I guess we'll see what happens because I'm, I'm, I'm guessing if there is going to be that, then it's going to be this episode. So I don't know, man. We, we will see. But uh, I mean, the, 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 the problem pretty much stems from the fact that um, that Yuji isn't coming out. <laughs> um, you know, at the end of the last episode, Sukuna uh, was trying to call him out, basically saying, come on then, let's just, you know, change back already, and he, and he wasn't coming out. So I, I seem to, you know, the idea, I think, behind it is that Yuji has lost a bit of mental fortitude because of this, like, because of that fight that, like, he just saw himself as weak, and I think because of that, he doesn't have control anymore as much as he did. So, I don't know, man. I worry for Fushikuro, but, you know, we'll, we'll just have to get through this and see what happens. So, yeah, we are going to get an episode five. As always, the reaction will be here on YouTube, but if for whatever reason it gets taken down for copyright in the future, I'll re-upload this as a discussion-only video, and a, a link to the reaction will be in the description below. As always, a link to the full-length uh, reaction to this episode is in the description below, so if you want to watch my full-length reaction and not just the cut 10-minute version, and the offer is there for you. And also, after finishing this episode, if you want to get access to episode 6 uh, early uh, and not have to wait a week, then a link to that will be down in the description below as well. But yeah, nothing else to really talk about, so you're going to get in episode 5 and see what we get. So without further ado, let's go. <gasps> oh, bloody hell, where the fuck did he come from? <laughs> What the f <laughs> fuck? Oh! Hostage. Bastard. Like, I, I wonder. I wonder if it's gonna be a thing where, like, it looks like Fushigoro is about to die and Yuji, like, forces himself back in control and literally kills himself, you know? And and Sukuna will be like forced to to save him, and that way it's like Yuji will technically die, but then be brought back. <笑>我知道。<笑><笑> Oh, 
so easy, man. <laughs> Having fun playing with him. Jesus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cool. <laughs> the size of it. <laughs> Christ! Oh, you're gonna feel that! Jesus Christ! How does he survive that? Oh, he can't get them back. Shit. Shadows. どの道その程度ではここは直さんぞ。じゃあ、なんで俺は助けたんだよ。不平等な現実のみが平等に与えられている。誰よりも幸せになるべき人だった。それでも罪気は呪われた。別も知らず恵みなんて名前をつけた父親は。あ、手遅れ <laughs> Jesus. Sukuna's gonna have to save him somehow, right? What on earth is this? <laughs> the hell is that? <laughs> まずは絶対に戦わないことと彼らに忠告したのですが、僕が無理を通して死刑に実質無期限の猶予を与えた。それを面白くない上が、僕の犬間に特急を利用して帝国彼を始末したと言ったんだろう。いっそのことを上の連
表に出る性の感情や行動には必ず裏がある。ケースはどんなバーだが、負の感情、憎悪や殺意などは偽りのない真実だ。<笑> okay. 我々はどうすれば呪術師に勝てる。戦争の前に、五条悟るを戦闘不能にすること。二つ目、両面すくな。イタドリユージは仲間に引き込むこと。<笑> well, you might have an issue with that at the moment. ちょっと待って、死んだのであろう。そのイタドリユージでガキは。さあ、どうかな。こうさ、had to be a way to fucking bring him back. こうぞ。It's just sick and I like keeping him alive. It must be. Okay, episode five. Well. It, it wasn't Fushiguro that I needed to be worried about. Although, I, like, during that fight, I was wondering, like, how the fuck he came away practically, seemingly, like, unscathed. Dude, he got batted around through buildings and everything. There must be some, like, Jujutsu, like, like, self protective thing that goes on, right? Because no one is surviving that. <laughs> I mean, it was ridiculous.、Um, but it was Yuji that died instead. I did think as soon as Sukuna basically, you know, took him hostage, took his heart out, I think at that point it was like, yeah, it's going to be Yuji, innit? Because, you know, it, it would have been something like he's not going to let、um, Fushiguro die, and so he's going he's to come out and essentially kill himself for that. And it's exactly what happened. And then, in some like, measure, he, he, he will come back. It was obviously confirmed there at the end. I don't think it was really in doubt that he would come back somehow. But it is interesting to see how, though. You know, like, I, I don't know if it's, a, if it's just a case because. Well, it, it can't be the fact that Sukuna's like, still in there, still a part of him, and see, seeing as he can survive. Without a heart and whatnot, like he would be in there because they literally did say that, like, you know, if you eat all of the like all of the Sukuna's fingers and then die, it kills Sukuna along with it. But maybe it's the fact that there's still parts of Sukuna out there that makes it so that he's unable to die. You know, like he's unable to really go anywhere. I don't know. I think it's just because it, it must be because, like, Sukuna's still a part of it. So it, it's like, in that regard, it, it does make it interesting because technically Yuji is dead. And what we saw at the end there was like, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, it, it's like. Sukuna was talking to him, but we didn't see Yuji. So I just wonder what Yuji is truly saying. If he's like in that world where Sukuna's like kind of, you know. I don't know what it, what, what it is that he's truly saying, but、uh, it, it is interesting. And we'll see. We'll see how he comes back. So we got introduced to. I don't even know what to refer to them as because they didn't give a name to the to the, the main dude. I guess the. Like the The one human guy.、Um, and yeah, I, I completely forgot, like, curses and whatnot, like, they can't be seen unless、um, you, you're, like, you, you know, you have access, like, curse energy yourself or whatnot. So if you're a sorcerer or if you're close to death, right? So of course they can't be seen.、Um, I only picked up like, back on that when the dude came in with all the curses and it was like a seat for one, wasn't it? So,、uh, yeah. Um, and they want, apparently, they want for society to kind of be switched around <laughs> because the curses seem to think that because ours, like, you know, their whole thing of just negative energy straight up, that's it, is all like it's just factual and there's, there's nothing like egotistical about it, it just is what it is. Whereas humans are up and down and they're back and forth and, you know, and whatever. There's my Xbox turning on again. <laughs> Don't know why it does that. I'm sure it does that with like every fucking, you know, it's just a weird flaw in the,、uh, in the Xbox. I might as well just take, take the power out of the back.、Um, so, 
yeah um that's interesting it does make me wonder exactly how many fingers they've got because they literally said that like so they created the curse womb thing right with the main intention of actually testing Sukuna. so they know all about like yuji and everything and the fact that he's got Sukuna in there and whatnot it does make me wonder where they've got that information from like i don't know there must be I don't know if it's like a case of whoever that guy is, is actually a Jujutsu Sorcerer and he's kind of been a traitor. So I don't know, but, but we will see. Um, and, that, and that's the thing as well, because we don't, we, we haven't seen the higher ups and whatnot. I just wonder if there's some like corruption within, you know what I mean? Like, if the higher-ups are doing something, like, behind, like, Gojo's back and whatnot, you know? Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll see going forward. Um, yeah, there's some uh, interesting things as well. Uh, during the fight with Fushiguro, um, we learned that his Shikigami and whatnot are created from shadows. And that they can't be brought back either. Which sucks. Because then, like, I would have had, had a more emotional... Sort of, if I'd known that before, I would have had a more like emotional attachment to like the the you know one of the demon dogs and whatnot. But I didn't know that they were they were like once they're done, that's it. You can't, you can't bring them back out again, which sucks. But well, man, that's that's the way it, that's the way it is. It's a shame he hasn't got friggin' the snake. That thing was huge. It was cool. He hasn't got it anymore. Bastard. Um. He was talking as well, um, obviously, you know, before he was about to go Super Saiyan, um, about a girl called Sumiki. Um, and during that time, it was like linked with it with his father as well. And he, he basically called out his father for being an evil bastard. Um, and it, I, I, I don't know if that has anything to do with this Sumiki. I don't know if that was like his sister or something. Um, you know, who was probably unfortunately passed away. Um, and yeah, so I, d I don't know if that has anything to do with the father or not. Um, you know, but seemingly the father didn't give two shits. Because uh, he also said, like, you know, he called him Megami. Really just like, just being like, eh, you know what I mean? Even it doesn't care about what the gender of the baby was or anything like that. Um, so he really didn't care. Um and then, uh, and then, yeah. So, it was cool as well, like seeing Gojo. Like, uh, it w it was interesting because this is the thing. Like, it goes hand in hand with the fact of like you know I'm talking about is there possible corruption in the higher ups, and it, it seems that way anyway because they went behind like Gojo's back. They purposely did it when Gojo was away as well. So he did point out that, and he's just getting pissed. Um, and then uh, we had uh, a doctor walking. Uh, it, don't know how the hell I'm going to pronounce this. Eerie? Something like that. Um, she looks like she hasn't slept for weeks. Uh, so she's like a doctor, kind of, or a mort I don't know, mortician, maybe. Um, and interestingly enough, like, she was like, you know, talking about, like, cutting them up and whatnot, and then, like, Gojo was like, you know, kind of get what you can. So I, I don't know what that means. You know, because in their mind, I'm just wondering if they're thinking that because those fingers have been eaten, right? I don't know if it's a case of like because Yuji's dead that they're thinking they can get them back or what. Because I don't know if in their mind they're thinking, well, I guess those fingers that were swallowed are gone with Yuji. I don't know if that's the case or not. Um,. Because I can't see, uh, like, any other reason as to, like, what they're talking about when this, like, you know, when they're talking about, like, cutting them up and whatnot and getting whatever they can from them. I don't know. Like, that's the only thing I can think of. Um, so, I, yeah, I mean, we'll wait and see. Because this is the thing, like, because Yuji, uh, you know, he will come back. I just wonder when. Because, I mean, how long before he comes back? <laughs> You know, because it, it, you know, he could be bloody 
cut up into into so many pieces by that point. I, I don't know what's going to happen. It, it, essentially, at some point, Sukuna is going to have to come back and heal him fully, right? That they are just generally that's that's going to have to happen, um, and it's just going to be a question of when and how. I do find it interesting that Sukuna Sukuna did talk about a you know like a pact, so. I don't know, like, if he wants a pact, I guess. Um, and I guess if they're talking in, like, you know, wherever it is they're talking at, they're talking, like, in this mental place, right, that maybe a pact can be said, that can be set there. And I feel like if it's going to be anything, it's probably going to be, you know, once you've got all of, you know, my fingers or whatever, you know, you, you can't, like, I'm not going to allow you to die, right? So there's, there's got, got to be, like, something like that involved. Um, and then he'll come back, heal him, and then and then that'll be that. But uh, we'll see. Um, I've got the name of the dude as well, like, the, the one dude with the glasses, Ijichi. I feel like because he's being named, he's probably going to hang around a bit. We'll probably see him, uh, like, off and on. Um... Yeah, so it is interesting, like you know, for how little time the other, you know, the, the two other first years uh, have been with with Yuji. You know what I mean? It's just that I guess like that infectious nature about the guy that you know what I mean is really getting to them um, because you know the generally they know that he's he was a good dude as well. So you know, of of, of course they would they would feel it a bit. Um, but they're, you know, trying to act tough. Um, and then we got introduced to the second year. So, uh, there's not a lot of those either. Only four, I believe, they, they they mentioned. So, first one is Zenin. So, yeah, that totally kind of, you know, I mean, I, I, we're talking about that, like, obviously back in episode one when he pointed it out. And I was wondering if, if it referred to a rank or as a person. We know now. <laughs> it refers to, to one of his senpais. Um... I think the thing that really threw me off was just the apostrophe in the, in the name, right? Because I, I don't think that's generally a, a Japanese thing. So, you know, Zenin, it almost sounds like a rank, doesn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but she's the best uh, cursed tool wielder. And also, I'm sure back in the first, in the first episode, Fushiguro said, like, Z like, Zenin Senpai in regards to Yuji's, like, unnatural strength, right? Um... I'm pretty sure it was that, right? So, so I guess uh, Zenin also has that, um, you know. Uh, the other second years, uh, Inumaki, the guy who can only speak. I can't remember what exactly they said. It was like just this basically like food, right? Um, I mean, he's called like the cursed speech. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 where are the? Curse speech user. He can only speak in ingredients of rice balls. <laughs> so specifically, great, fantastic. He's gonna be useful. Uh, <laughs> and then um, Panda, just going by the name Panda, F fantastic. This is a thing, right? What is that? What is that about? Is it just a curse? Is Panda like a curse, but on our side? I assume so, because there's like no other instance of like, um, of like animal friggin' animal humans, you know what I mean? Like, that doesn't make sense, but you, you, you get what I mean. Like, there's no like animal species that are like, you know what I mean, that have intelligence like humans do in this show that they haven't spoke of yet anyway. So I assume he's just a curse that is on our side. Um, in which case, yeah, fantastic. And then uh, the other one is uh, Okotsu, who is abroad. Uh, I, I believe, because Panda said Yuta, so I'm assuming that Okotsu is Yuta as well, right? Um, but he's abroad anyway. Um, and they were talking about, you know, the, going to their sister school, which is in Tokyo, uh, not Tokyo, in Kyoto. Um, 
guess you know both anagrams of each other aren't they Kyoto and Tokyo uh, but yeah that's where the sister school is uh, and there seemingly is a bit of a rivalry between the two uh, and they're going over there to kind of compete which should be fun uh, and they said that anything goes aside from killing so yeah that should be very very fun um, and uh, and yeah so I don't know what Fushiguro is capable of but Sukuna was quite uh, enjoying of the whole thing um, but he has this like technique that's it's, it's such a weird name sacred treasure swing and ring ring eighth grip I don't know what that means so uh, so yeah sorry about that bang um, we never got to say it because I feel like well it's either it's either one of two things isn't it Fushiguro either sensed that Yuji was coming out or he sort of refused to fight and tried to bring him out by talking to him <laughs> I don't know it was one what like either one or the other um so uh so yeah we we'll, we'll, we will see um what happens next episode if we spend I don't know maybe we don't know when Yuji's coming back he might not even come back next episode maybe the episode after but it is going to be interesting to see exactly how he comes back I do think it's just it's basically as simple as like they will form a pact and therefore Sukuna will come out heal him and then Yuji's back right um so we'll see but uh, anyway yeah that is pretty much all I've got I think I've, I've, I've talked about everything there um and uh, and and yeah so that's, that's that's it that's all i've got so thank you everyone for watching uh, in the description below like i said there's links to all of the things like full length reactions and then you know early access and whatnot there's also another tier on patreon which is uh, the exclusive tier which gives you access to full length movie reactions and things like that so if you're interested in my full length uh, reactions to movies then uh, then that is the one there for you of course i will be doing the my hero uh, world heroes movie soon so keep an eye out for that but that is all I got, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.